Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you've not seen these series before, what I do is every other Wednesday I go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or everything's a total washout. I have a whole playlist with all of these videos, I'll throw it up in the cards if you'd like to binge watch, watch a whole bunch in a row, so on and so forth. Uh, before we jump in, I've got just a couple of uh, new product updates. First is I finally got my Holo Taco order in the mail. It took a lot longer than usual, I think it's because it was I bought it like the day of the new release. So not only did I get the new box set with all of the new multi chromes i did pull out the green one because of course i think tonight or tomorrow i'm gonna paint my nails into this green multi chrome um i also picked up the shade menchi which is uh, a permanent part of the collection it's this perfect orange shade which is perfect for halloween perfect for october and it matches my eye look so i'm just very orange and black today <laughs> so yes so i've not actually used any of the multi chromes yet i'm excited to jump in and actually test them out um but i did just do first like the day we got this package in i used menchi on my nails and i'm loving the orange shade it is gorgeous and next for updates i finally you know bit the bullet and i picked up some charlotte tilbury eyeshadows if you want to see how my first impression with the walk of no shame palette went Spoiler alert, not fantastic. All those spotlight on petite palettes up in the cards that I did. I did get a lot of comments on that video ranging from Charlotte Tilbury is really geared more towards the makeup beginner or the older makeup user with not a lot of makeup experience to that formula was an older formula and it wasn't that great versus I guess like this one which is uh, the Rebel which I guess is their new formula. I'm not 100% sure, but I still have not tried out this new, um, the, the Rebel palette because I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see me film it or not. So let me know down below if you want to see another Spotlight Appetit palettes with this other quad from Charlotte Tilbury or if I should just try it on my own and then just report back because I am going to be doing in the next couple of weeks a, um, like a mini review roundup video. So let me know if you want to see a full video on just this quad or if you just want to see an update in later in like a review roundup video. All right, so that is everything I have for updates. Let's jump into trend moves. Instagram. Okay, so let's talk about this first. This is from Natasha Denona, and this is the holiday collection. Yep, the holiday 2020 collection. And I have to say, when I first saw the sneak peek of the, um, I need a new glow, nude glow, I thought it was going to be a new face palette, and I was kind of excited for it because I really wanted to try a Natasha Denona face palette, but I've never tried one before. Um, and so I saw the cover of it, I saw the name, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a palette. It's not, it's a single highlighter. And it's not the best looking, it's, yeah, it's just not. So I'm not gonna pick that up, I'm not interested in that or the lipsticks. The palette itself, interesting, but I know for a fact I've got all these shades between all my other Natasha Denona palettes, so I'm not interested, but um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, so JLo Beauty, I guess it's getting closer and closer to actually coming out. Um, I think it's gonna be mainly like bronzers. I mean, if she's smart, I think it's gonna be mainly bronzers and maybe highlighters, but probably just mainly bronzers. But I mean, looking at these photos, I mean, the highlight looks nice. The bronzer looks okay. It's a little kind of strong and patchy. The eyeshadow, yo, the eyeshadow is not looking the best. So I mean. But that, that being said, I don't think she's really going to be banking on, like, eyeshadows. Like, you know, it's J-Lo, it's J-Lo Glow. I think it's mainly going to be bronzers and highlighters. Here we go. So the new, uh, not the new, the fall Sephora sale starts, I believe, October 30th. Let me double check that. Yes. So VIB Rouge starts October 30th. I am actually off of work that day, and it's the day before Halloween. So I'm thinking that Friday I will be doing a live stream just talking about um, my Sephora sale recommendations, and I'm debating about whether or not to make it a live get ready with me where I actually actually use those products so I'm still on the fence about that but I am going to try and aim for a live stream on that day to talk about my sale recommendations. So Rare Beauty for the holiday collection is coming out with these eyeshadow palettes and I mean the packaging looks nice but I don't know I feel like the color stories aren't really inspired or imaginative and they're all shimmers right I think each palette is all shimmers yeah I mean I'm not against using shimmers you know, however you want to use a shimmer, but when I'm looking at a new palette to buy, very rarely will I buy an all shimmer or an all matte palette. I have a couple of all matte palettes, but they're more companion palettes. And like, I can't remember the last time I actually went out and bought 
an all shimmer or an all matte palette you know it's been a while so that being said i don't think i'm gonna be buying any of these if anything the one thing i want to buy from rare beauty are the liquid blushes and a couple uh, two weeks ago when i was on vacation i actually went into a sephora for the first time in forever and i saw the rare beauty display all the liquid blushes were sold out <laughs> so i didn't get any of them i really do want to try one of the liquid blushes so that's probably the only thing i'm really interested in still trying now from rare beauty so this holiday i believe collection from makeup revolution it's called the precious glamour collection the packaging's adorable but the packaging also looks like i bedazzled a bunch of just like lip glosses and eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks i mean it looks cute not gonna lie but the eyeshadow palette it's just like this big neutral palette yeah, not something I'm really looking forward to or needing. There's a face and body loose highlighter, which I know I'm not going to use or reach for. Lip glosses, lipsticks, nothing that's really just like jumping out at me. You know, nothing new, nothing innovative, nothing different. Okay, so this, I've been trying to get my hands on this. So Maybelline came out with a new shade of the Superstay Matte Ink. It's just a black shade. And I've been trying, I got tagged in this on Instagram. I've been trying to get my hands on this. It's been sold out everywhere. I can't find this. <laughs> that being said, I'm actually about to, right after this video, I believe, start filming my lip swatches for my next Best and Worst of Black Lipsticks video. I was hoping to get this in time for the video, but it looks like it's just not going to happen. But I still want to get my hands on this. If any of you know anywhere online where it's in stock or if you find it in store, I'm willing to pay someone to get it for me in store because I really want to try this out. <laughs> So if you could shoot me a DM on Instagram or let me know in the comments down below because I've been trying my best and I just can't find this anywhere. I'm only going to stop for two seconds on this, this ColourPop taupe collection. I could have sworn this already came out. Like, I'm pretty sure they already had an identical thing. And that's the thing when you're not focusing on crafting um, an actual permanent collection. You're just constantly rotating through limited edition collections. You're going to end up with the same things over and over and over. And there's no room for innovation or improvement you're just constantly throwing shit at the wall waiting for something to stick so i i've got to say i've been very disappointed in a lot of color pop stuff recently this is adorable and i kind of want it i know i don't need it but i kind of want it this is from um hip dot so hip dot did a collab with tapatio and it's just this adorable tapatio collection and it, all the things look like the little bottles and uh, the lip glosses look cute as hell and the eyeshadow palette i just i want this i want all of this this looks adorable <laughs> and the shades the palettes themselves are actually like they're fairly neutral but i like i actually like the color stories i i want this really badly <laughs> So I don't think I mentioned this before, but I'm pretty surprised that I, I guess it took this long for Morphe to come out with a mascara. Correct me if I'm wrong, is this the first mascara Morphe has come out with? I'm not going to be buying it, but I don't know. I, I am still a good, a good supporter of my favorite affordable mascara from Essence. And I've tried other affordable mascaras. I've tried the ColourPop mascaras. I've tried some other mascaras. None of, none of them are as good as the Essence Lash Princess mascara. Ooh, okay. I want this Dior face palette. It's like the yellow gold one. I'm wearing like a very bright green eyeshadow. Actually, it's a Juvia's Place shadow as a blush today. And I, I just love those kind of tones. And this palette, ooh boy. I love those tones. I love how that looks. Mm, I want it. <laughs> I want it. I think it's limited edition for the holidays, but oh boy, I just, ooh, that looks nice. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this. Okay, so ABH decided to come out with a mini version of the Soft Glam palette calling the Soft Glam 2. First of all, this is actually a genius idea that they should have done earlier. Smaller versions of their really like successful 12 pan palettes with that original formula that should have been done a while ago that should have been done before the big norvina palettes to be quite honest um second of all they picked one of their most popular and most universal palettes also a really good idea that being said i've got soft glam i know i don't need this but what i want to see are smaller versions of maybe like their old limited edition palettes that they're just no longer available anymore bring them back but with the minis like a mini mario palette again how great would that be? A mini artistry palette, a mini, just like bring back that nostalgia back when, you know, ABH wasn't a burning dumpster fire, you know, and just, oh, it's such a good idea. But one huge downside to them, they're not pricing these correctly. This is like, 
how much is this mini palette this mini palette is $29 this mini palette should not be $29 not when the full sizes are 40 to 42 dollars that's ridiculous this should be priced 20 to 22 dollars max max this should not be 29 dollars <laughs> i just that's the thing i i love the idea but the execution is lacking please someone get a uh not even a marketing director someone get uh just someone into abh and just get them like whip them into shape please can we get a drill sergeant to go into abh and like tell them to stop making business deals based on astrological signs and get their shit together because <laughs> there's there's ideas there's formulas they have so much potential for success and it's it's like frustrating and cringy to like watch such potential and success crash itself into a ditch you know <laughs> Anyway, that's the thing. I'm so torn because this is such a great idea and they have an idea here that could work really well, but they're not pricing it correctly and they're not choosing, you know, the, they, they could pick better palettes to make minis out of. All right, so next. Lime Crime is coming out with a holiday collection. They're coming out with a new big palette. This is the Greatest Hits Classic Shadow Palette. Oh, no, wait. It's the Greatest Hits Bangers Shadow Palette is what it's called. So it's this big one right here. I... I like the, that, the fact that these are grungy tones. I love grungy tones, if you couldn't tell already. I do not find this more enticing than their XL Volume 2, which is still a palette that at this point I still want. And I've been wanting it for like over a year now, so I should pick up that palette. If anything, I might pick up that palette for myself in December for birthday and or Christmas. But this, it's, it's a different palette from what you're seeing, you know, throughout Trend Mood and throughout releases. And I've heard nothing but really good things about their shadow formula. Personally, I have not tried their formula, so I cannot say either way. I still really want to get the XL Volume 2 to tell for myself, but this does look interesting. The rest of the collection, we've got some lipsticks, we've got some lip glosses, they've got that mini palette I believe I've already talked about, the one that looks kind of like Modern Renaissance. Um, I have tried their lip gloss. I did. The, it's called the Wet Cherry Lip Gloss. I tried the green version of that back in my last blessed blessed best and worst of green lipsticks video i'll throw it up in the cards if you missed that but i did really like the um the lip gloss formula when i tried it all right so real quick i've just been disappointed by literally everything house labs has come out with it's i've not heard any good reviews i've not seen anything that entices me to try this collection out and the fact that they come out with these like bronzers and highlighters and they're really not gonna work for anyone unless you're like a very light beige it's just disappointing so not interested i probably will never at this point buy anything from house labs so this looks actually pretty interesting so sigma is coming out with a holiday collection it looks like it's a bunch of rose gold products so we've got some rose gold blushes there's a rendezvous eyeshadow palette which looks kind of meh what i'm interested in there's a rose glow cheek duo that comes with the palette and then a brush that looks very very cute uh, and like I said, I haven't really tried a whole lot of Sigma, like, makeup. I love their brushes. I have a whole bunch of their brushes. But I've never actually tried any of their makeup, like, from their house line. So I really want to try an eyeshadow palette and then, like, a cheek and a highlighter product. So I might pick up that little holiday palette for the Rose Glow Cheek Duo. Last but not least, this literally just got posted. So it looks like P. Louise is coming out with new shades of their paints. So there's a white or like a gray silvery there's a green and there's a red um i think it's just like a liquid shadow or something or like a liquid liner you would use to do more like complicated looks i actually am really interested in the idea of like a green base to really make green shades pop on my eyes how much are these i don't know how much these are but i think it's like it comes with a um it's a kit where it comes with the paint and then like a little flat brush so i'm kind of interested um in doing something like that especially in like a green shade to like just make shades like that pop on top of it so it's on my radar am i realistically going to pick this up probably not so that is it for this edition of the be wow make sure if you guys haven't already you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're not make sure you consider subscribing before you leave this video if there's anything that i missed any new releases you want my opinions on let me know down below and i'll either answer in the comments or in the next edition of the be wow Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy spooky season, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.